Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. So far we have solved a lot of problems uh, by using the method of sections and method of joints that is the chapter 4 problems right. So in chapter 4 now I am going to solve the problems related to the frames and machines right. So this is the first solved uh, example right. So in this problem we are given that the frame supports the 400 kg load in the manner shown. It is said that neglect the weights of the members compared with the forces induced by the load and compute the horizontal and vertical components of all forces acting on each of the members, right? So this frame has uh, three members, right? This AD, this BF and this CE. These three members which I have dismant uh, which I have shown here in the dismantled farm, right? So what we need to do is that we need to find all the forces that are acting on these three members in x and y direction right it is said that define the horizontal and vertical components of all the forces acting on each of these members right so to solve this problem first, first what we can do is that we can find the reactions at a and d right so let's say that the reaction at a in the x direction is let's say in this direction this is the assumed direction we do not know right so let's say this is ax and there is a reaction let's say in this direction let's say this is a y and let's say since uh, here we have a roller so there will be one uh, reaction so let's say that that reaction is acting in this direction and this is let's say d right and now as we can see that here in the 400 kg weight is acting vertically downward right so 400 divided by 9.80 is 3.92 right so we can remove this weight and we can replace that weight by a tension force in this cable right so let's say that this is that 3.92 kilo newton right this is 400 into 9.80 so that is equal to 3.920 kilo newton right so if we consider this whole frame right so if i apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero for this whole frame right if we write that the summation of moment at point a equals to zero since x and a y are unknown right so they will be neglected by using this equation right and if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive right so now as we can see that this d reaction is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point a so we can write d and the perpendicular distance of this d from that point a is 1.5 plus 1.5 is 3 and this is 1.5 plus 0.52 so overall a distance of 5 meters right so the perpendicular distance of d from that point a is 5 meters so we will multiply this with 5 and this is producing counterclockwise moment so this is positive and now as we can see that this weight is producing the clockwise moment about that point a right so we will write minus 3.92 and the perpendicular distance of this wedge from that point A is how much So this distance? This is 3 plus 2 and plus the radius of this pulley, right? So the radius of this pulley, this distance, right? This is 0 0.5. So this is 3 plus 5, so 5.5, right? So we will multiply this with 5.5 and this will be equal to 0. So from this, the reaction at D equals to, so this is 3.92 into 5.5 divided by 5. So this comes out to be 4.32 kilonewton, right? The actual direction is in the positive x direction, right? So this means that this D is 4.32 kilonewton. Similarly, if I apply the summation of forces along x to this whole frame, right, equals to zero. So now as we can see that this AX is acting in the negative x direction, right? Let me draw these direction as well right this is our positive x and y direction right so this ax is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus ax plus this d which is acting in the positive direction and this is equal to zero right and from this we can write that ax is equal to d equals to 4.32 kilo newton right from this we can write that minus ax is equal to minus d so minus will cancel out so ax is equal to d so this means that the assumed direction of ax is also accurate and ax is also equal to 4.32 right so i can write here that ax is equal to 4.32 kilo newton right 
and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 again for this whole frame considering this whole frame right so we can write that a y is acting in the positive y direction minus this 3.92 this weight right 3.92 and this is equal to 0 so from this we can write that a y equals to 3.92 kilonewton right so this a y is 3.92 kilonewtons right now the next step is that here on this pulley the weight is acting in in this direction right and similarly this rope is continuous right so if we isolate this pulley right if, if i draw only the free body diagram of this pulley right so we will have two forces one force is acting downward right and that is the weight right so this is that 3.92 kilonewton weight and similarly the rope is continuous so here we will have also that 3.92 kilonewton weight which will be acting in this direction in the negative x direction right and this is the center of the pulley which is point f right so due to these external forces there will be some reaction forces at this point f right so let's say that those reaction forces are acting in this direction let's say this is fx since this is point f so this is fx and let's say this is fy right so now if we apply if we consider only this pulley uh, so if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 so as we can see that this fx is acting in the positive x direction so i will write fx minus this 3.92 which is acting in the negative x direction so this is equal to 0 so from this we can write that fx is equal to 3.92 right and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so then fy is acting in the positive y direction minus this 3.92 so this is 3.92 and this is equal to 0 so again from this we can write that fy is equal to 3.92 kilonewton so fx and fy both are 3.92 kilonewton right so we can write that these these are the forces that are applied as a reaction of these external forces on the pulley right so as a reaction this pulley will apply the same forces on this bf member right but in the opposite direction right so let me uh, represent these three members right so let me draw the free body diagram of these three members right so we have isolated we have dismantled this whole frame right so we can write that this is this is that a d member we can write this is that a point and this is that d point right similarly this one is that bf member so this is bf right so let me write that this is b and this is f and similarly we have this c e member this one is c and this one is e right so now these fx and fy will be acting in the opposite direction on this bf member right so we can represent those as well right so this will be fx right since fx is acting in this direction so it will be acting in the opposite direction right so this is fx and this will be our fy which will be acting vertically downward opposite to this fy right and their magnitudes are known right this is 3.92 uh, kilonewton and this is also 3.92 kilonewton similarly we can represent that ax and ay as well right so here we will have that ax right which is 4.32 and similarly we have that a y let me write this is a so this will be uh, 3.92 this is known right this is 3.92 kilonewton all are kilonewton right so this is 4.32 kilonewton and similarly here we have that uh, d reaction right which is also 4.32 right so now as we can see that here we will have that tension force which will be acting in this direction right if we isolate this ed member so then we will have that force which will be acting in this direction right and this force is how much so this force will be equal to 3.92 right but it will be acting in the opposite direction since this is a tension force right so this is 3.92 kilonewton right similarly uh, this bf frame will apply some force on this ed right at this point b 
right at this joint b right so let's say that this bf member is applying the forces on this ad in this direction let's say that this is that bx let's say this is bx and let's say that this is by right these are the assumed direction right so i can write that this is by and similarly this ce member will apply a force on this ad member right so let's say that this c this is that point c right so this is that point b right so this is applying some forces on this direction right let's say this is cx and let's say that cy is acting in the downward direction right so let's say this is cy if we consider only this ad member right so we can apply the equilibrium condition to this member ad right so let me write that member we are considering only that member ad right so now if if i apply since we do not know bx and by so we can apply the summation of moment about point b or we can apply the summation of moment about point c right so now if i apply the summation of moment about point b equals to zero and considering that ad member right if we consider this equilibrium condition right so now as we can see that all these vertical components are passing through that point b so they will not produce the moment about that point b this 3.92 is vertical component this by is vertical component and this cy is vertical component they are passing through that point b so they will not produce the moment about that point b so only the horizontal components are producing the moment about that point b bx is also passing through that point b so it will not produce the moment about that point b as well so now we can write that this 4.32 kN force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point B. So I can write that the counterclockwise moment is positive. So I will write plus 4.32 and the perpendicular distance of this 4.32 kN force from that point B is how much, right? So we can read the distances from this actual diagram, right? So this distance so this is 1.5 plus 0.5 so this is 2 right so the distance of this point a from point b is 2 meters right so we will multiply this with 2 similarly uh, this d is producing clockwise moment about that point b as well right so we will write minus sorry this d is producing counterclockwise moment as well right so we will write plus and this is again 4.32 and the perpendicular distance of this d from that point b is 3 meters right 1.5 plus 1.5 so we will multiply this with 3 and similarly this 3.92 force is producing the clockwise moment about that point b right so we will write minus and this is 3.92 and the perpendicular distance of this 3.92 from this point b is this distance this is 0.5 right so we will multiply this with 0.5 and similarly this cx is producing the clockwise moment about this point b as well right so we will write minus i can write minus cx and the perpendicular distance of this cx from that point b is this 1.5 plus 0.5 so this is 2 so we will multiply this with 2 and this is equal to 0 right so from this we can find cx as well so cx will be we can take this cx to the other side of equation so this will be like this this whole thing will be equal to cx times 2 so we can write that cx is equal to 2 into 4.32 plus 3 into 4.32 minus 3.92 into 0 0.5 and dividing this by 2 so this will give us the cx so from this cx equals to 13.09 kilonewton right so now we know the horizontal component of the force at this point c right this is that point c right so this cx is 13.09 kilonewton similarly if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 and considering this member ad right so this is that member ad so uh, we can add all these those forces which are acting in the horizontal direction right so we can write that this 4.32 is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus 4.32 
this is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus 3.92 similarly this bx is acting in the positive x direction right so we will write plus bx and this cx is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus cx and cx is now known which is 13.09 and similarly this d is acting in the positive x direction so we will write plus 4.32 and this is equal to 0 so from this bx equals to 9.17 kilonewton right this will cancel out and bx will be 13.09 minus 3.92 so that will give us 9.17 kilonewton right so the horizontal component of uh, b the b force is now known which is 9.17 kilonewton right so now here we know cx let me write here cx this is 13.09 and bx is now known as well so we can write that bx is 9.17 kilonewton and right? this is also kilonewton now we can consider uh, this member bf right so let me write that now we are considering member bf for further calculations so i will write member bf right so this is that member bf so we have to represent all those forces now uh, which are acting on this bf member right these were the forces which were acting on this ad member right so as a reaction this ad member will apply the forces on this bf member in the opposite direction right so these are the forces that are the common forces of bf and ad member right so since the this bx is acting in this direction right so this is the force on ad so as a reaction this ad member will apply a force on this bf in the opposite direction right so we can write that here this is again that same bx right its magnitude is known which is again 9.17 we can write that this is 9.17 kilonewton similarly by will be acting vertically downward right since it is acting vertically upward right so this is by which is not known right similarly here we have that point e right so let's say that at point e uh, this is let's say ex it is not known right and let's say that this is ey right and we know fx and fy at this point right so now if we consider this member bf right so we can again apply the summation of forces along x we can consider the equilibrium condition right so the summation of forces along x equals to zero for this member bf so now as we can see that this ex is acting in the positive x direction so i will write ex minus this 9.17 which is acting in the negative x minus this fx which is minus 3.92 and this is equal to 0 so from this ex equals to 3.92 plus 9.17 so it is again 13.09 kilonewton now if we apply the summation of moment about point e equals to zero right so now as we can see that all the horizontal components of the forces are passing through that point e so they will not produce the moment about point e so only the vertical components are producing the moment about that point e right so now as we can see that this by is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point e so we can write that this is b y and the perpendicular distance of this b y from that point e is this three meters right so we will multiply this with three and this is producing counterclockwise moment so we will write plus and this f y is producing the clockwise moment about this point e so we will write minus f y and the perpendicular distance of this f y from that point e is this two meters distance right so we will multiply this with two and this will be equal to zero and fy is known right so we can write that fy is 3.92 kilonewton right so from this by equals to 2.61 right so we can write that by is equal to 2.61 kilonewton right and now we can apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 for this member bf 
right so as we can see that by is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus 2.61 by is now known this ey is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus ey minus this fy which is acting in the negative y direction so this is 3.92 kilonewton and this is equal to zero so from this we get ey equals to 6.53 kilonewton right so now ey is known right by is also known ex is known and ey is known so now we can mark all those forces which are now known right so this by is also known right this uh, cy is not known yet right so this by is now known right ex is also known right and ey is also known right so now as we can see that if we look into this bf member so all the vertical and horizontal components of bf members are known fx fy ex ey by and bx are known right if we look into this ad member so these reactions are known this bx and by are known cx is known cy we are left with cy right so we can find that cy if we consider this ce member right so now if we consider this ce member bf member will apply the forces on this ce member right so this ex will now be acting in the opposite direction right since this bf is applying the force on this ce member right so these are the reaction forces right so this will be that ex force right this ex is now the force of bf on this ce member right and this ex is the force of this ce on this bf member right so this will be ey will be acting vertically downward this is ey right and similarly if this is cx so then we will have cx in this direction right and we will have cy vertically upward right so this is cy and this is that point c right member ce so if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero if we consider this ce member right so as we can see that this cx is acting in the positive x direction so i will write cx minus this ex and this is equal to zero so from this cx is equal to ex and ex is known which is 13.09 so we can write that is 13.09 kilonewton and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero so then cy is acting in the positive y direction minus ey is acting in the negative y direction so we will write this is equal to zero so cy is equal to ey and ey is 6.53 right so this is 6.53 kilonewton right so now we have determined all the horizontal and vertical components of all the forces which are acting on each member right so if we summarize this so we have a ax and ay forces which are known we have bx and by so bx and by are known as well we have cx and cy both are known only d force right we have ex and ey force and we have fx and fy force so we know all those all the horizontal components and vertical components of all the forces on each of these three members right so this is the solution of this particular problem